Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel and welcome to July's collection obsession wrap up. So as you recall, you will recall I was using 49 and Market, um, Nature Study, Vintage Artistry Nature Study and some leftover bits from everywhere. I'll put, I'll try and remember to put my share up here in one of those little cards or maybe or maybe down down below in the description box now I have lots left over here so we will come back to that and in fact I'm thinking I may just continue on uh, with this for August we'll see as we go through the leftovers because I got two 12 by 12 layouts done and one at six by eight so not not an awful lot but at least you know I got into it and I used it so that is the whole idea of collection obsession it's the brainchild of course of my friend Scylla from Choice Bits of Bliss here on YouTube and everyone that I know is playing along of course will be linked down below but the premise of Collection Obsession is not to use everything that we choose, everything from the collection that we've chosen, but rather to use it, to get some pages in our albums. We sort of set ourselves a little bit of a goal of maybe four projects. I'm happy if I got three. Now, the six by eight is a tiny project, but it's a project. And of course, you, you've seen this one. It's in my Wimbledon mini album that I put together with you. And I'll be due to come back and do a little bit of an update for you on a few pages. And I intend, hopefully, I'll get some time in my room today to get a few more pages done to make it worthwhile to come back and share with you. But this is one page where I used some leftovers and this is from Wimbledon and just all of our Canadian players, doubles and singles. So we got that one done. Then I got two, as I mentioned, I got two 12 by 12. Um, you've seen both of them. Both of them have videos. This one uh, was for uh, go-to designs, or it's all about the base, the series that I do with my friends Chris and Mel on the second Friday of every month. And of course, this is going into Adela's album. And then you've seen this one as well for Erica's album. And look at that. So I'm going to turn this over, and yes, I forgot to take the branding tip. I do that a lot. Thank goodness the way this layout is structured, I can go back and just take that branding strip off, and nobody will be the wiser, nobody but you and I will know that yet again I have done that. And this was layout number two. And this one I'm... I'm happy happy with because I got some of the rub-ons used. Remember I said I really wanted to try and put a little bit of a dent in those lovely rub-ons. Well, at least I did got, get some used up on here. So two layouts and a six by eight. And now look at everything that I have left. So I still have Lots of rub-ons, and I still have not gone into the 12 by 12 sheet. So I definitely need to do that. So this, then, my friends, is going to be a wrap-up for July and plans for August. Because I am continuing on with these lovely supplies for August. And I think what I would like to do uh, is this lovely, the butterfly strip here now that would be a perfect one third two thirds wouldn't it coming down the side I definitely I really think I want to do that so I think I'm going to use that um, maybe get I'm going to add some probably some white and some cream cardstock to this and then use this in my background as some mixed media 
maybe together with a, this lovely big fern leaf. So I think we'll do that. I have lots of the chipboard set here left from Nature Study. Tons and tons of that left. I have these Vintage Artistry Essentials square stitch frames that I put with this collection. It came in a Mercy Tiara uh, kit at some point. I have used not this month though, but I did use a couple of these. So I want to keep that and get a few of these used. Gorgeous film strips here in Sunbeam. And in, let me see, what are these? They're uh, Citron? Citrus. Citrus. There you go. Citrus film strips. So lots of those left, even though I did use a little bit. The 6x8 rub -ons. These are the ones I used on the layout for Erica's album. So still have tons of that left. Now, of course, in my bowls on my desk, I always, always have my Nicole Jones 911 uh, Digi prints, Bramble Fox acrylic pieces, some flare, um, and leftover bits, and of course, sequins. So there you go. And you see here, I have lots of paper left. So, yeah. So there we go. I've got some. Now, this is a Simple Stories uh, textured cardstock piece, but it'll go perfectly with that. And that, uh, this little bit here is a scrap from, I think it's Wild Whispers. I'm not sure why it's there, but I think the colors match. So I have some lovely scraps here. Ooh, look. That actually even looks nice together, doesn't it? Yeah, see, I think I could definitely use that. Not with the orange, though, but these two definitely go together. I've got a lovely big piece here. Um, oh, I might do some fussy cutting. I obviously used the packaging, as you know, for 49 and Market. Of course, we can always, the backside always has something usable. So this was from everywhere. This is Nature Study, and I've used uh, probably a little bit of the cut apart and you, some of the papers here. Now you see this would be fun to just use as a paper strip. So this is very, very usable. So I think I'll do some fussy cutting later on today. Uh, I've punched some whole, I've punched some circles here. Got a little bit more of the blue. I've got this gorgeous, gorgeous minty, minty green here. So would this go with these? Yeah, I don't think it'll go with that. It's a little too similar. So, but would this go? Not sure. This would definitely go with the green here, but I'm not sure. Oh, maybe like that. Or would I bring this darker because I do sort of like that and then bring this paler? We'll see. I'm not sure these go together, but I definitely have this lovely piece. So lots, even with the scraps here, I think I can get uh, a couple of layouts done for sure. These little bits. Okay, then in 12 by 12... I've got this gorgeous, this gorgeous green. That is beautiful. And that I could use in my Wimbledon, uh, uh, Wimbledon, Wimbledon, I can speak this morning, album for sure. Lovely, lovely gray. Oh, this might be a nice background for using uh, the rub-ons on. I think this might be nice because it is quite, quite neutral. It's sort of a taupe, I guess. It's not brown. It's got a little bit of brown undertones, definitely gray undertones. So it's maybe sort of a taupe. It's gorgeous. Love, love, love this as well. Then we have the foundations. Oh, look at that with this gorgeous. Now look at these two together. There you go. That goes. So we have a paper kit right here. 
And then this is another, so this is, oh, there we go. Look at that. It is, look at that. I didn't realize I had two of those. Did I get two packs of the foundation? I don't remember. Or do we get two of the same? I can't quite remember. But these are definitely, now I'm not sure that I would put them together. We'll see. We'll see. But I'll put them, oh, this gorgeous this is gorgeous as well this is woodland oh this i think would be a nice this would be a nice I, I i struggle using these they are so gorgeous and it's sort of like the layout is done for you with some mixed media some collage um a, a layering even here but i do have trouble using this so i think i might take a bit of this and put it together with this and we have of course this gorgeous blue these might go together put these two. and then this gorgeous orange this is definitely from everywhere yeah this oh and this lovely blue on the back but i do think i want to use the orange now uh and then i have this sort of mauvey pink it's got some purple undertones maybe a little bit of lilac no no lavender lilac is brighter so maybe some lavender undertones but this side brings out a lot more of the pink so i don't know i might put that in with wimbledon we'll see but now here's a novel idea i'm thinking oh that would be you know who I think would love this sort of combination? Giselle. Giselle loves, loves orange. And she wears it. She scraps with it. And it really suits her and her scrapbooking. And I'm wondering whether I might not put this gorgeous bright green with that. What do you think? I think that would be fun. It would definitely push me out of my comfort zone. But I think I might give it a try and then bring in sort of a lighter green if I have it. I don't think I would bring in any dark. No, I, I definitely don't want to bring any of that in. But maybe, let's see what I have here. Yeah, bring in maybe a little bit of the paler orange. I think I'm going to put these together. Oh, now, maybe a little bit of that. I don't know. But I do think I'm going to put these together and I'm going to challenge myself to use this as a paper kit. So there you go. You can see just talking, talking this through with you, I can definitely get three to four, maybe even five more layouts out of this gorgeous collection that I had chosen for July. So we are going to keep it going for August. So this video is going to act as both a wrap up for July and plans for August. And again, I will have everybody that I know uh, who uh, that I know is playing along with Collection Obsession. I will have them linked down below. Um, are you a collection scrapper or do you tend to just mix and match? Or are you a kit scrapper? Do you love, like, somebody who does kits absolutely beautifully is Mercy Tiara. Now, she's just had her one-year anniversary. But something that I love is Tracy uses, on average, three, sometimes even four, rarely two collections and puts them all together so beautifully. And she mixes manufacturers, so it's not as if she just takes three collections from American Crafts, but she might take also, bring in some simple stories, Echo Park. I really, really, really do enjoy that. So if I get a kit, that's where I get it from. Um, but I do love my collection scrapping as well. I will see you back here very, very soon. Thanks for being here. Bye for now.